All right, let's talk about one of my favorite tricks of all time. Well, this isn't really my favorite because I don't get to use it near as much as I should because I don't do enough like really ambient music. But nonetheless, we're going to cover it anyway. We're talking about shoving a delay into a reverb. So first off, let's focus. I got this little, uh, I don't know, kind of my attempt at Karate Kid Part 2 uh, with a synth with a four on the floor. Yeah, I know, whatever. Anyway, here, listen to this. Okay, and our little um, Asian noise. I don't know what that thing is. I'm sure you music people could point me in the right direction. Um, it's a little bit boring sounding on this. I don't love it. So my first instinct is to toss a delay on it. And let's see what that does. And I don't hate that, but let's just say we wanted to kind of hot rod that, that delay a little bit and add a little bit of space around the delay. We're going to send the delay to a reverb. We are not going to send our Chinese sound or Asian sound, whatever. I don't want to offend the Japanese or Koreans or something. Anyway, so we don't want to send the original dry sound to the, the uh, reverb at all. And that's a big deal, and we'll get to that here in a second. So what I'm going to do here in Cubase, we can do this, and I don't know if we could always do this in Cubase without doing some using subgroups, but... Now in Cubase uh, 6 or whatever I'm using, uh, we can definitely feed an aux send to a different aux send. So I'm going to turn that guy on, and we're going to start blending in this reverb into the delayed sound. You can kind of hear this, so take a listen. You hear that? Hey, you can take a listen to that now. There's a, now there's a, a sexy, uh, if I had to use one word to describe this technique, I'd call it surreal. It, it kind of creates this, uh, you know, fantasy land of, uh, it's what you would use on a uh, unicorn scene in an 80s movie. Uh, kind of creating this fantasy land. And it works for uh, lead guitars, acoustic guitars, anything where you have delay that's really bouncing around and you want to manipulate it. And the cool thing is, is listen to the dry sound. The dry sound is not washed out. What we've essentially done is put a whacked out pre-delay in front of this reverb. So um, instead of, of course, normally a pre-delay is just a simple, you know, a time amount of, say, 50 milliseconds or something. Well, in this case, it's bouncing around. It's all over the place. But the, the point is, is that th that reverb never comes in and fights with the original thing and never actually washes out the original dry track. So let's listen to that. We've got a, an aura around it, uh, I guess you could say. We've kind of wrapped this thing in a delay, but the original piece is still there, and it's clear and right up front. And by just by manipulating then the, the delay signal, we can really dry this thing up or actually make it uh, come up with, with odd combinations of the two. So now I've cranked up the reverb but pulled down the delay. Let's see what that does. Pretty cool sound. And again, that's more of a rhythmic reverb, I guess you could say. So make sure you play at this. Uh, send, and you can do it with groups or, or auxiliary sends or whatever your doll requires. But make sure you definitely play around with sending whatever it is to a delay and then send that delay to a reverb. All right, guys, have fun. Thanks. Bye.